Hello again. I'm back, hopefully. Um, my name is Amy. I come to you from Leesburg, Georgia. This is n not going to be a long episode um, at all. I've only knit two things in the past. I've been, I last recorded on October 1st. This is episode 68. Happy little yarn. Um, I just lost my knitting mojo. That's all. And I've been kind of blah feeling. And I went to the doctor recently and got some new medicine. And we're going to see how that works out. So I'm coming to you slightly blah, but okay. Um, I hope the light right here isn't too bright. It is a little brightish, but we're going to go with it. It's kind of a, um, it's a cozy day today. This morning I spent the morning, I'm off work today. It's Friday, November 10th, and it's about 11.30 right now, a.m. And I spent the morning with my mom and sister, had breakfast, and then I came home and started cleaning up this mess of room, my craft room, and, um, I had to find my minis, my box of minis in the closet, and that was a mess. But I'm putting together an advent for an advent swap. And I've got to get that out next weekend. So I'm working on it this weekend. And I'm going to make it so fast up and fun. So grab yourself a cup of something delicious. And let's talk about knitting. Um, this is my Star Wars mug I got. I did go. I got like a little coffee right here. That's so gross. Um. That's not gross. That's delicious. What am I saying? I went to, what was it called? Disney Springs last month sometime, a few weeks ago. I just went for the day with a friend. And I got this mug. And it's a Star Wars coffee mug from that new series. It starts with an A. It's like Ashaka or something. I, I didn't watch it, and I don't know what it's called. But I saw this mug. I'm like, ooh, that's classy looking. I like that. So I got it. I got some hot coffee in it. Oh, warm. Just made it. Okay, two admin things I want to go over. Um, last time I announced the 1,000 subscriber giveaways, there was three total. Two got in contact with me. I have not mailed those out yet. I'm very sorry. I have been in a slump. But I plan on mailing out everything I announced today, next weekend. And, um, I have all your information, the two that did get in contact with me. But the other one, for the rainbow kit, of all things, did not contact me. And since it's been over a month, I'm not going to give any more time. Um, so if you didn't watch episode 67, your name was announced. I'm sorry, it's too late. I'm going to announce a new winner today. The new winner of the Ginger Snap Fiber Rainbow Bag with the rainbow yarn, mini braids, from Cuddlebum's yarn, and some other little doodads in there, like this project book from Mad Cow Mandy. I just hit myself in the face with it. Some stitch markers that glow in the dark. This prize now belongs to Knit One Pug Two. So if you are knit one pug two, I will have my email or my Instagram listed below in the description box. Please contact me as soon as you possibly can because I want to get this in the mail next weekend on the what, like the seventh or something. I don't mean the seventeenth. No, the eighteenth. I want to try to get this in the mail on the eighteenth. So knit one pug two. If that's you. You won. Congratulations. Sorry to the other winner that did not contact me, but it's been over a month. Um, the other prize I need to give away today is the one from, I think she goes by Odd Girl Journals, but her name on uh, the Etsy shop is different. Let me see if I can find 
a uh, girl journal. She has oh, the cutest designs. Look at that. I mean, I love oddball stuff, and this is right up my alley. Okay, so uh, uh, this Keely Rip Keely Richmond. I will link it below in the description. I'm not going to edit and put stuff on the screen because that really gets to me editing all the time every week. So today I'm not editing. Sorry. Um, but I will put it in the description below her shop link because she was kind enough to donate some very lovely stitch markers and progress keepers. And I'm trying to get it sorted. I'm going to send one person a progress I'm, I'm going to select two winners uh one person will get a progress keeper and stitch marker set uh, which one you get is just going to be random and you'll get some stickers to go with it like this is an example of some of the stickers you might get or the awesome bat one because we all know i love bats yep okay so here's an example of what you're going to get they are Halloween themed. I'm very sorry. I didn't get back to y'all earlier than this. But the first winner is Leslie's Lake Life. You won a set of Progress Keepers and Stitch Markers and Stickers. And then the next winner is Lindsay Lemon. And you won as well. So I will send those out at random what you're getting. Um, contact me, email, or Instagram. Or you can even do Ravelry, maybe. Just put your YouTube name that I announced in the subject. So I will know who you are. Um, yeah. Really cute stickers. I mean, look at this. How cute. Oh, I'm a sucker for these stickers. Thank you, Keely, for donating this. This is really awesome of you. And I will put her uh, Etsy shop below. Okay, let me put all this back in the bag. Am I even recording? Yes, yeah, seven minutes. I'm sorry. I've been taking y'all's time up for seven minutes. I'm proud of my craft room. I cleaned it up pretty good today. I even got the little urge to sew some. Y'all, y'all know how long it's been since I've sewn. It's been a minute. Okay. Put all this back in the bag. I don't lose any of it. Okay, that will be next weekend. Thank you to the 1,000 subscriber winners for getting in contact with me. Thank you for everyone who subscribes. You are awesome. Thank you to all new and returning viewers. Everybody's awesome. Okay, let's talk knitting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have one finished object, believe it or not. It's in my fuzzy sheet bag, who is Katie. She also does the naughty knitting sacks. But I saw this dragon material with the dragon scales on the inside. I was like, oh my God, had to have it. And it's this denim fabric. It is so sturdy and awesome. I love it. Thank you, Katie, for making that for me. And this is actually a design that I'm doing inspired by a hat that I've been making for a long time, but I've officially named it and I've wrote up the pattern in DK and I'm just taking everything out of this bag because I'm done with the project. So this will be for something else now. But the yarn I was using, if I can find the tag, I don't know what I did with the tag. Sad times. I think it's, I know it's Kimber's Cozy Creations, and I think it was the Practical Magic colorway. I'm not sure if she's doing this anymore, but it's a self-striping yarn on DK weight. Sock DK, so it's got nylon in it. And, I don't know. I think it was, one, it was 100 grams, like 100 point something when I weighed it initially. I don't know if I've weighed it since I cast off, but let me show you what made with it after I weigh it so I can tell you exactly how much yarn you're going to need. Let me tear. There we go. 38 grams, so that's 62 62 plus 
A is, yeah, 62. 62 grams, so a little over half of a skein of DK weight yarn. And you can make yourself a double brimmed hat, who, which I've officially come up with a name for. And I didn't come up with it. AI came up with it for me. I said, I need something magical, whimsical, and enchanted sounding. And this is the hat I came up with. And the name of it is Enchanted Evening Cap. And this is the DK way. It's a double brim, so you have no ribbing. It's all brim. And it's going to be a free pattern on Ravelry once I type it up. Um, I have not woven the ends. I have not tightened up the top or anything. I'm not going to put a pom-pom on it or anything. But that is my finished object. Patterned by me, Amy. I'm going to put it on Ravelry because a lot of people have been asking for this pattern. Because uh, Stephanie, I know that's your name, Stephanie, of uh, Texas Peach Knits. Uh, knit this hat a couple times and a lot of her viewers has asked me for the pattern. Thank y'all for contacting me. I am going to get it written up. I've been in a major slump. I'm very sorry. I said that again. I'm going to quit saying that. But this is the hat. Enchanted Evening Cap. And I love the name. Thank you chat GTP or GPT or GTP. I don't know. Whatever you are. Thank you and my husband for typing in the words so I didn't have to. Y'all, honestly, AI scares me. Okay, let's let's take an example from John Connor in Terminator. Let's not go down that route, okay? Stay away from the AI. Let's quit making it smarter. Okay. Now, how about my hair today, y'all? It's curly, right? Get longer. Grew out that pixie cut I had last year. And... I washed it last night and I woke up. I'm like, hey, I'm having a pretty good hair day. I should record today. Because I usually throw it up in a ponytail and come to you in my pajamas. Fun, fun. Okay, but Enchanted Evening Cap. I might write it up this weekend. I'm not going to pressure myself into doing anything. I have a lot of things, like obligations I have right now. And it's really getting to me. I feel like I have so much weight on my chest. I'm going to get it done though. And then I'm not going to, I'm not doing a giveaway this podcast, this vlog, this episode. And I probably won't the next couple times because I really just want to get back into the swing of knitting and recording and uploading and having all these obligations get to me a lot. Okay, and update. I know I showed this to y'all last time. I finished the bat wing. Well, I finished the bat wings for the baby. But the baby was born, and it was a tiny baby. So I wasn't in any rush to get this done because that baby's still tiny. And it's not, this is way too big for it. I should have didn't like fingering weight or something. But I didn't finish. I finished the hat and the wings. I didn't do the arm straps. I, I was going to just use like um, elastic like you wore around your ear. The soft elastic for mouth coverings, face coverings. Um, but I didn't get around to finishing it because I lost my knitting mojo. And I didn't do the ears for the hat. I started on it but I screwed it up and I didn't finish. So I got my Keely Oddball or Odd Girl Journal stickers on here. I don't know if that's hers or not. I don't think that is. But I got some more on the back. That's my knitting journal. Write down patterns and things I'm doing. Okay, the next pattern I've got um, is a test knit. And it's coming out next week or the week after. Something like that. I don't know. She gave me a... a, a feels so bad, Amanda. I'm really sorry. I did not finish it, but... I, I was getting, I was really knitting on this hardcore trying to get it done. But I got like serious holes in my thumb knitting this. 
and then I got like serious wrist pain knitting this. So I had to take like a week off from knitting it. And then I realized it might be too big. And then I lost my knitting mojo. So I'm not going to finish the test knit. I'm so sorry. But I am going to finish knitting it. This is the only thing I'm going to knit on until it's done. Because I do want to complete this obligation. And I want it for myself. Big time. Because I love it. It's such a squishy fabric. I love it. It's garter stitch. And it's like the best yarn ever. It's the uh, Madeline, Madeline Tosh Twist DK. They don't make that base anymore. They don't offer it anymore. But it's just a high twist DK way in the Kenobi colorway. And if you see, it's like a gray with kind of a light, a light, very light minty green hint to it. But I am finished with the arm separation and I'm I've got two inches to go before I can start the ribbing. I can't even figure out where I'm at. That's the inside. Okay, sorry, I'm back now. Okay, let me scoot back. I'm sorry for all the ticking with the needles. Uh, this is what I've gotten. I've got two inches left. It's a cardigan. It's called the Great Garter Bomber by Amanda Lee. Love, lovely. I'll put it below who the designer is. I can't remember her Instagram name off the top of my head. I will list her uh, Ravelry patterns below in the description so you can go and contact or get the Great Garter Bomber if you're interested. But this is what I have so far. The arm is there. You knit the front and back panel and then you connect them and then you connect them whenever you do the body in a garter stitch and you just knit back and forth because it is a cardigan so you knit it flat but I have maybe less than two inches to go on the body and then I do some ribbing and then I do the sleeves and a shawl collar and then I'll be done I think I could have this finished by Christmas if I get my knitting mojo back and really hunker down on this I've been averaging like two or three rows a night for the past like week so I'm getting my knitting back a little but I squirrel so easily when I'm knitting that I think I might need a palette cleanser knitting just because I've been knitting on this for over a month and I kind of need something else just to break it up a little bit something neon or colorful or like just tink on a sock a little bit knit on a sock a little bit that I've got casted on I haven't finished but that's it it looks huge but I'm gonna make the arms shorter and just make it very drop shoulder I don't know I got my pajamas on sorry if y'all see my pajama pants but I got my pajamas on that's what I've got so far and it is a little big I think I made a size too big um, or my gauge is off. No, my gauge is spot on. I don't know what I did wrong. But I'm going to wear this as a drop, a very drop shoulder cardigan and make the sleeves a little bit shorter just to go right here. Like, I like my sleeves a little bit long so I can do that. But that's the Great Garter Bomber by Amanda Lee, who I need to contact and tell her I'm not going to make the deadline, but I will... Do the document and everything, writing how the test net went. Oh, God, I hate when I don't finish a test net. I feel so bad. But I really could have finished if I would have just not gotten hurt. Not hurt my thumb, not hurt my wrist. Not been weirded out by how big it got and thought I did something wrong. And if I didn't lose my knitting my joke. You know, all those things add up. And a full-time job doesn't help either. Anyways, that's the only knitting I have, but I have done a lot of knitting. I think last time I showed it to you, I was only on the one of the panels, the front panels. So I've got both front and back done, and I've got the arms separated. And all I got left is 
two inches ribbing, two sleeves, and the shawl collar. I can do that. I'm going to use, I was going to use these one moment. I was going to use these on my Douglas Cardi, the, the neon one that I've been knitting. But I think, oh, these are going to be beautiful. With this, with this fabric, these really glittery acrylic Twin Mountain handcrafts. Is that it? Twin Mountain handcrafts acrylic buttons. Now, they're a little too big, so I might order them in the size I need. Or I might just make the buttonholes bigger. I'm not sure. I might ask Amanda for some tips on that, on the shawl collar, on the button band. But these are going to look so good, and they're not going to pop a lot, but they're going to give it pizzazz. Yes, that's what we're going for. Okay, so that's all the knitting I've got. I've got, I have had quite a few acquisitions come in, but I don't remember what I showed last time versus what's new. So I'm not going to show any of the yarn. I know this was new. This is Pretty Twisted Yarns, my friend Teresa, who I feel like I've really let down lately. I haven't talked to her much lately. Teresa, I love you if you do watch this. Um, this is her Halloween skein. I think that's what it's called. It was called, it's called Hey Boo Hey. And I got it on DK, Posh DK, which is the extra front. 85% superwash, extra fine merino, and 20 15% nylon. I can math. I can math. Um, it is a neon and it's got orange in it. I love orange lately. I don't know why. I'm just so into orange. And it's got that purple pop. It's so pretty. Pinks, pinky purple down here. That's gonna make an awesome something. I might even make oh, I can make an enchanted evening cap. I love my neons. Y'all know I love happy colors. Oh, I'll put that back there. Okay, so acquisitions kind of. Um, I last recorded October 1st, so I opened the first colorway of the Fangirl Fibers Haunted Mansion Halloween Advent for 2023. That's a mouthful. Um, I quit opening it around the 15th or 16th, and I finished opening it this morning. I labeled all the colors, kept them in order, and I didn't read any of the little doodads that came with it because every day was a different Haunted Mansion character, and it gave a little background on each character, and it was really cute. And I did read a few of them, but I didn't read the ones I opened today because I just wanted to get them labeled and put away so I'll have it one day whenever I want to do something with it. This is the... Uh, Fangirl Fibers, all 31 days, fit in this gallon Ziploc bag. And here's day one. That wh uh, white um, natural colorway. I can't remember what it was called, but that was cool. And then, funny enough, that's day 31 is a solid black. So day one was white, day 31 was black. I like that. It was a good transition. I liked it overall. Very good colorways. I mean, sorry they're already in the bag. I should have waited to put them in the bag, but. They're in the bag. Okay, next up I have two. Hang on real quick because I do have one thing i got to say with one of these. I can't find it. But I looked on YouTube and I found it. Okay. I have, oh, and I didn't show this. The bag holding my Great Garter Bomber is always Queenie Believe on Etsy bag. Um, I don't think you can get this yellow one anymore. But this yellow one is amazing. I get so many compliments on it. Her bags are huge. I can hold this whole bomber, and I've still got room to finish it with the sleeves. Got the yarn down in there and a little notions pouch and some extra scrap yarn. But um, you can save. Let me see how much it was. Sorry. I know y'all probably don't like when I get on the computer and ramble at the same time. But 20% off. 20% off if you use the code Happy Yarn on her Etsy shop. I will link it below under coupon codes. But this is the one I've had, I've been using. And this is the newest one I got. Isn't it beautiful? It's not as 
in your face colorful but it's kind of muted gray floral looking rose is that roses it looks like roses you've got some floral glittery vinyl right there in the front and on both sides with pockets i love the pockets that's a great detail and it opens flat like a bucket and it's just amazing this is an amazing durable bag i love a durable bag so you get 20 percent off in her shop using happy yarn at always queenie believe on etsy go support her because she knows what she's doing and then i got one more from a local yarn shop i got another bag this was like a special that candace had at fuzzy go she did a um Facebook Live, and it just, I was like, oh, I gotta have that. I gotta order it right now before anybody else does. And it took a while to get it because I didn't know it was coming straight from the manufacturer. I thought she had it in her shop ready to be shipped, but it came from the manufacturer, which is fine. I, I'm not, I haven't even used it since I got it like a month ago. But it's a mud bag, limited edition, and I think it's a Saturn, Saturn XL. It's a round bag. It looks like an old time, old fashioned like hat bag. But it's for yarn. It's for your knitting projects. I haven't gotten the handle on it yet. But it does have this. I like this. Like you can have it closed. And it's got this little notch for your yarn to come out of. And it is a little pricey. But treat yourself here is the handle it's got a very nice durable handle and it's very deep inside with pockets um i wish some people would use a lighter color for bags on the interior i know it would show dirt like a lot faster but you can't see anything i mean i got a light right there shining on me see that little ring light i got in my glasses yeah it's not showing anything but that's my other bag i got it from my local yarn shop supporting my local yarn shop fuzzy goat and that's the show uh, i have not read anything i've not been watching anything i've watched a little bit of youtube lately i watch i keep up with knit all the yarn and lazy lemon creations i think she's done one or two since i podcasted the last i mean i'm slacking y'all Oh, it's okay. I'll get it back. I'll get my mojo back. Now my coffee is cold, so that must be the end of the show. So, I hope everyone has a great weekend. I'm going to go ahead and publish this as soon as that I get it. I'm not going to edit. I'm just, I'm doubt I'll even watch it. And my mail lady's here dropping mail off on my front porch. Oh, ring. Thank you for telling me. Um, it's going to be cool here this weekend in southwest Georgia. The high on Sunday is 58 degrees and rainy. And then the rest of the week is going to be like 60 degrees high. Like, that is perfect weather. If it would rain every day, that'd be great. But I'll take the cool weather. Okay. Well, y'all, I am going to ask for a few test knitters on my Enchanted Evening Cap. So, if you're interested in testing it, just a quick little test knit. No ribbing. If you don't like ribbing, this is probably a hat for you. It does cover your ears. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm going to try to write it up in a worsted way eventually, but for now, I just want to get DK written up for free on Ravelry. I'm not charging because I've given this pattern out a lot already. And I just want everybody to have a chance to knit it. So y'all have a great day, great night, whatever time you're watching this. I will see y'all next time, hopefully next Friday. And y'all just have a lovely week. Bye.